it's Karen on the Lake Stamper here in Grand Blank. <laughs> and I'm back. I know. It's been a while. And I'm so glad that you guys, uh, you know, hung in there. I obviously moved about a month ago into my new condo, but I had to get it painted and new quartz countertops and uh, new carpet. And obviously the movers came, so that took a while. But um, everything was in disarray, especially my craft room. Uh, I couldn't find retired products to new products, so I had taken my time and got it all organized, and I feel so much better. It's so it's such a lift off your off your mind when everything is organized. So I do have pictures on my blog as well as on Facebook if you want to see some of the uh, before and after. I, I didn't do any before, but I did after. <laughs> So, um, we had a little class, just a small class, um, on last week, weekend, and we did the trimming the town, and I thought, you know, I have a whole bunch of snow villages from Frankenmuth, and if you're from the Michigan area, that's the place to go, and wouldn't this be cute as a little village, and, um, I think I have the Dickens, uh, or the snow, I have the snow village, and I love it. And so I wanted to do something like that. Um, and I wanted to make it with lights. It looks like lights. They're really not. They're rhinestones. But I thought we could do this today in a slimline card. And when you look at this beautiful paper, it really is stunning because it has all the little houses, the big houses, um, the scenery for the backdrop. This is all backdrop scenery. And I'm just utilizing this beautiful slimline uh, look with the uh, beautiful uh, designer paper. So, just to give you an idea, here's the little baby houses that you can use. I thought they're so cute, right? And then the bigger homes, let me get that, are these right here. And when you're using that, you've got the die cuts to die cut every one of these guys. So you don't even have to stamp. You can just die cut this whole um, 12 by 12. And and or you can stamp and uh, color to your heart's content. <laughs> um, so this is the uh, look of um, the die cuts. So you'll see the houses and the trees. Oh, and the VW. You've got to have that VW. So we're going to do that today, all right? And I've already gotten a lot of things already ready. Now, you'll notice that on the, on, uh, the paper that um, Poppy Parade is one of the main colors for uh, this beautiful set. And you'll see Poppy Parade right here. And you've got Whisper White. You've got Pool Party, Old Olive. Misty Moonlight and of course Early Espresso. So this was with Misty Moonlight and it looked just darling, didn't it? I just love it. And all I did was die cut all these little homes and the little trees and of course my little wreaths and it came out just darling. So let's move this and let's start off with a slimline card. Okay, so this is Poppy Parade. And what you want to do is you want to cut your eight and a half by 11 down to seven and three quarters times eight and seven eighths. All right. I'll have a print recipe for this. So it's easy peasy. I've done a few slimline cards that are already uploaded. Um, if you if you can't remember, they're all on there. Um, also the envelopes to make an envelope as well. So okay, so it's eight, it's seven and three quarters times uh, eight and uh, eight and seven eighths. You want to score this at uh, three and seven eighths. Okay, so we score it, which is really nice. Getting that bone folder going right, and you're gonna have two mats. So what I did is I took the scenery. Uh, which is one of the uh, designer papers and I cut it down uh, to make sure it was going to be horizontal to make it look like you know it's a scenery isn't that cute so the first mat is um, is this beautiful poppy parade with the the dots and I'm going to use the first mat size at eight and a half times three and a half okay so I'm going to glue this and 
This will take but a second here. This one I'm going to glue right down and there we go. Beautiful, beautiful. It's already, in, it looks already Santa Clausy. I mean, it's so cute. And you can do one vertical. You just have to make sure you cut correctly. Because <laughs> if you don't, it'll be upside down. <laughs> so, all right. So the next, the next one is this beautiful, uh, uh, the scenic uh, paper that I I'm, I'm cut it out. But I cut it out horizontal so I can make a little village. And the second mat is eight and a quarter times three and a quarter. So I'm going to pop this little guy up. All right, so let me do that and I'll be right back. All right, so I put an awful lot of dimensionals on this because I really want it to be like a three dimensional uh, village. So I'm going to center this. Nice. Now I've got my little village. <laughs> okay, so I have this nice and ready. I've got the ice rink. I have it a little bit different than the one I used already. So this is from the same paper, and you can just, you know, divide this of how many uh, cards you like to make. So this is the ice rink one, which I thought was pretty cute. And of course, you've got your VW. Now, uh, what's, what's really cool about these little homes is you can actually be a little builder. And I feel like I'm in, on HGTV because you can actually build up the house to make it bigger uh, and more dimensional, okay? Because you're covering up the little door and you're putting a different color door. <laughs> um, or maybe you're having a, a small cottage and you want to add um, a little bit more uh, dimension to it, okay? So you can uh, mix or match a lot of these homes. And like this one here, for instance... This is your big, the big home, okay? This is a different elevation. <laughs> so let's say you wanted to put this right here, okay? And then you would have enough room to put the wreath. Isn't that cute? So um, with this, I'm going to definitely put my VW right here, all right? Um, but he's kind of last. Now, I have a, a smaller area to do my homes. So I'm not going to use all the trees here, but I am going to cover some of the trees up. And I'm going to put this one right here, but I want to do it in dimensionals because I de definitely want to pop it up. So you want to get an idea where all these little guys go. And you'll see that this one has been cut off, but that's okay because I'm going to put this right here. But I, I'm going to pop it up so that, you know, it's going behind the house. And then if I want to add more of a different elevation to this home, I'm going to maybe add this little guy. And isn't that darling? That's darling. See? Or if you don't like it there, you can add them over here. <laughs> See? That's, that's cute too. All right. So we have it already down. We've got some homes that we've kind of put up here, okay, just to kind of give you an idea of what I'd like to use. And here's some of the little homes. Here's my little VWs I have. Here's, uh, it looks like, you know, you're building a home uh, and you're just doing different elevations, all right? So you've got this really cute little house here. You can obviously put the little wreath on there. So um, I, I try to make my little homes, um, you know, three-dimensional. So I, I just popped this one up just now. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna pop up the little green to go right here. And now it's got a door and now it's got a different elevation. Isn't that darling? So let's pop this one up. It just needs a couple of dimensionals. And this won't take long. And then uh, Again, you can fussy cut these yourself if you don't want to buy the die cut set, or you can buy the die cut set and have these all cut out with the dies, and it's so nice. So let me just, my little houses, let me just turn this around and put this little house right smack in the middle where the other windows are so you don't see the windows. And now it has a whole different elevation. Isn't that darling? 
So with that, we're going to use one dimensional with one wreath. I know, so easy, right? And we're going to put this little wreath right smack in the middle. And that makes this home look darling. Oh my God, look how cute that is. So cute. Now we're gonna cover this little house here that was cut off, all right? See that little house? And we're gonna put this house right here. Okay, and it looks like it's gonna get run over by the um, VW, but it's really not. It's gonna have that dimension as if it was, uh, the road was behind the house, you know, which is kind of cool. We're going to put this little guy right here. See how we popped him up? Now he looks like he's right, the, the road is right behind him. Isn't that cute? Um, and then this other little house that was cut off, we're gonna put this little baby house right over here and isn't this darling? It's darling, I love this. And we're gonna take the rest of this off. Put my little, oh, that's just so cute. Now, if you wanted to add a, another dimension to this little house, you definitely could do that. Uh, I'm just gonna double check to see if this would look really cute with it. And it does, so I'm gonna definitely put this one on as well, just to make a, a, a really nice dimensional home. It's not just, you know, one elevation. It's like, it's like got like, you know, four different bedrooms and <laughs> Okay, so, uh, yeah, you can go crazy on this. There's so many different homes. It's so cute, so cute. So you're just covering up that, the door before. Oh, look at that house. Look how cute that house is. That's darling. So now <clears throat> we're gonna put the tree, some of the big trees. We can either put a tree over here or a tree here but I'm loving this tree like right here. Um, we could put a tree right here as well. Um, that looks just as cute. Uh, it's really up to you where you'd like to see the tree. Um, it can go all, almost anywhere. So before we put that tree down, let's put our VW down because we definitely want the VW on here. And we're gonna cover up that VW that, has a, that uh, is a littler one, and we're gonna put this one on instead. And we're gonna put a tree on top of it, all right? And this will be darling. All right. Now, I'm going to put him right about here, and then I've got a small tree that I'm going to use, which is this little tree right here. You can use the three tree or you can use a small tree. It doesn't matter which tree you wanna use. And I am just going to have this tree right on top. That's what's so fun about this, is to just make these come to life. Is what you're doing is making this little village just come to life. Um, and there we go, I found a place for the tree. It could go there or it could go right back over here. So I think, let's get this little tree going. I only put a few trees on the last uh, card. I put about three trees on there, not counting the tree on the VW, but so cute. Again, just a couple dimensionals is all you need. And you're just gonna cover up this other tree and if your dimensionals show a little bit, that's okay. You can put a, a rhinestone there, and that would be perfect. Oh, that's, that's perfect. We're gonna put this one right here. It's gonna be just our lane. Oh, perfect. Look at that. And then we've got the little car on there, okay? And then we have our last tree but he's going up a hill, so this tree is really just, 
you know. <laughs> and you don't have to put anything on here. You could just put rhinestones on here, and I might just do that just because the tree is a little bit too close. Oh, let's put them underneath, behind them. Yeah, there we go. So we're just going to put a little snail on the tree just so he stays on the... We don't want him to fall off the... Okay. Now, you've got a perfect, cute little village, don't you? Isn't that darling? You've got people ice skating. You've got their homes. You've got somebody driving up with the VW, with a tree. Now, we're going to put some lights. <laughs> so uh, you can use the Elegant Facets. Uh, that's one of them. The other one is the Wonderful Gems. Um, these are Darling and we might just do red just because why not? We've got, we've got red here. There we go. All right. Now, isn't this Darling? This came out so cute. Look at the little houses. I just started putting the little uh, lights on the um, houses right now. And I am using the wonderful gems. And let's do some trees. And then let's do a little bit of the wreath. Um, I think these are just darling. <laughs> it came out so pretty, didn't it? And uh, you can use any kind of you know rhinestones you have available. You can mix and match. Some people don't like color they want maybe all white you know like an all white Christmas tree I know I like an all white but on here because it's outside I think it's kind of fun to do different colors so I do have an array of different colors we can use uh, you know for the homes uh, especially if we have some of this wonderful wonderful colors with the poppy parade and we've got the old olive and the pool party you know so if you've got a different colors mix and match you know a lot of people's homes always look a little bit different during the holidays you know you see some people with a whole bunch of different colors and so I'm gonna put some of these little baby pink rhinestones on this house because I think that you know they wanted to be a little bit more creative on this little home <laughs> what do you think right and I've got little uh, clear wreaths uh, on the wreath, and let's do some Christmas tree with some different colors because, um, you know, it's going to be snowing there, right? <laughs> Can you believe it's 70 degrees here in Michigan today? 70 degrees. That's amazing. In November. Wow. And let's put, let's put some pink in here as well and isn't this fun though I mean you can make so many fun different colors on here and you'll have just an, a riot because you know it's, it's just like decorating your home and you can do all solid colors if you want you can do all the same colors if you want um, all kinds of fun stuff you know so I'm just going to decorate this one little tree over here and I'm going to use some of the teal colors and I'm going to mix it up with some of the pink rhinestones I happen to have available. And it's whatever you have in your um in your craft room, okay? Just mix and match and just have fun with it. Now this is my move in uh prime time uh to join and if you do join you will receive a bundle a Christmas bundle from me uh, this is my move-in uh, month and so I am done with painting etc and new carpet and new quartz and countertops and I want to I want somebody to enjoy the and reap the benefits here of uh, me being in a new home and feeling very blessed. And so if you decide to join, I will send you out a Christmas uh, bundle. Uh, this bundle right here is adorable. Just adorable. I can see using this throughout the seasons. You know, this is so much fun to use. And um, I just love it. Love it. So look at this village. Isn't this a, just gorgeous? And this little village here, 
I mean, they're adorable. Just adorable. You can be your own HGTV person. <laughs> so, I mean, just enjoy this paper because there's so many fun pieces. And if you want, you can use um, some of the sayings on here. You could put deck the halls, which is something I was just going to put right here. Uh, which nice and easy. I mean, look at this. See the cardstock? It, it's got it all written. Just cut one out. I mean, you don't have to do any stamping if you don't want to at all. Um, I think these just came out adorable. And this paper is just gorge. And I hope you guys uh, take advantage of uh, getting a free bundle of a free Christmas bundle uh, from me if you join. So it's a uh, move, in, move in bundle uh, month uh, because I moved into a new home. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. I had a great time doing these little villages. I'm going to do a few more of these. I just love these. These are Christmas cards that are going out this year. So anyway, have a great day. Have a great week. All right. We'll chat soon. Bye-bye.